Hey everybody! Um, I decided that today I was going to do a hair video because probably the number one beauty question that I get asked is how did you grow out your hair? How long have you had long hair? What can I do to grow my hair out? Um, I get a lot of hair questions so I decided that I would go over um, how I've grown my hair out and what I do to try to keep it healthy um, just in case you know you've probably seen my hair in my other videos but in case you haven't um, my hair goes to about to my waist in the front and in the back my hair goes to a little below my butt and right now I actually do need to trim. I'll probably be trimming like two or three inches off and I need some more layers but um, even with my trim that's, that's still about how long my hair tends to be. Um, I want to talk about what you can do to grow out your hair and I know it's kind of a difficult process especially for those of you that feel like oh I can't grow it out without it being unhealthy but there's actually a few steps you need to go by to achieve this. So, to be honest, hair health is completely synonymous with keeping it long, or having it long, I should say. Um, if you don't have healthy hair, you're not going to really want your hair long anyway, because it's just going to be, like, unhealthy hair, but, like, times two or three. So, there's a lot of things you can do to keep your hair healthy. Um, obviously, you know, don't overwash it or underwash it. That's not good for it. Um... Another thing to do with keeping it healthy is not using hot tools, which I know is another really difficult thing for people. But you actually can avoid that. You can, you can get around that. Like, if you have hair that you like to be straight, work on moisturizing because the more hydrated your hair is, the softer and silkier it's going to be. So, um, you know, you probably saw my review on the argan oil. If not, you can check that out on my channel. But that definitely makes my hair a lot softer. It makes it straighter. If you're more of a curly hair type person, don't use hot irons. Don't use... Um, hot rollers. Just use the ones that you roll up in your hair when you get out of the shower. Those tend to be better curls that last longer anyway. So you can do that. You can do a lot of updos. You don't require any hot tools. Um, you can also do uh, like braids, like um, whether your hair is long or short, you can just do side braids. You can do back braids. Um, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube for different um, different types of braids. If you guys want, you can comment and let me know. I can do tutorials for fishtail braids, just all kinds of different knotted braids and stuff. But that's a really great way to grow out your hair because when you do updos and braids and stuff, you kind of, you lightly tug at your roots and that helps it grow out anyway. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is when you're in the shower. Okay, think of every time you shower, you're actually giving yourself a scalp massage. Every time you put conditioner, like spend extra time to just do small circles all around your scalp that's going to increase circulation and it's going to stimulate your hair roots to want to want to grow and do their process even faster so that's going to help your hair grow longer. I'm trying to think if I have too many other tips. Those were the big ones. It's keeping your hair healthy, um, massaging your scalp when you're in the shower and do it every time. Don't skip it. Every time you shower it's not that big of a difference from what you would normally do anyway when you're trying to wash your hair. Just spend a little extra time massaging. Um, make sure you're using good hair products actually. Um, the, the texture of my hair completely changed when I switched from using my average everyday shampoos and I started like experimenting with um, different brands like Redken, um, Carol's Daughter is a really good one. I'm going to be reviewing hair products here pretty soon if you guys need some, su some suggestions. You guys already saw, like I said and I mentioned earlier, the Argan Oil. Um, that's like my miracle product. I love that oil. There's all kinds of stuff you can do. There's macadamia products. But anyways, um, that makes a big difference for me anyway in growing out my hair and it, it helps. I know some people, like I said, get kind of insecure about if their hair is not 100% healthy and everything. They don't really want to grow their hair out so they feel frustrated and I, I totally get that. But there, there are all those ways that you can avoid that feeling and, you know, fix it so you're confident growing your hair out. And, you know, um, like I said though, everybody gets to a point with their hair where they either feel like it's too dry or too oily or too thin or too thick or something like that. Sometimes my hair is just so thick that I just don't even want to do anything with it. But you have to kind of avoid that and just find your regimen that works for you and your hair. And another thing is, don't skip haircuts because you think that that's going to somehow help in some way. That's not. Make sure you're still getting regular trims. You just want to let your hairstylist know. Even if they suggest to chop off four or five, six inches, whatever. Let them know you're trying to grow your hair out and you only want an inch, inch and a half at a time. You know, depending on, it depends on your, everybody's hair type's different. But that's generally what I do when I'm trying to grow my hair out. And it works pretty well for me. Like I said, I need a trim. I'll do a, a haircut video when I when I do that, but that's what you guys want to do to grow your hair out. Um, I might post a part two if I think of other tips that I think would be really useful, but generally though, if you do those things, which maybe that list sounded long, but it's actually not. If you list it out, it's just, you know, when you're already in the shower, 
massage your scalp, just take care of your hair, get regular trims, avoid hot tools. You want healthy hair. Hot tools are a killer, especially for people that double do it with blow drying and straighteners or curling irons. It's totally bad. Avoid chemicals on your hair. Um, if you notice that your hair dye is drying out your hair, you need to switch hair dyes or quit dyeing your hair because I know you're going to want your hair to be healthy while it's long. So if you guys all follow those steps, you should be set for having long hair. I'd love to know if anybody else has any other tips, so if you do, comment below and tell me because I want to know. Alright guys, I hope that that was helpful and useful and I will see you guys next time.